Valentino Shevchenko. Shout out to the Chenkos. Drevyachenko, Lomachenko, Shevchenko. Uh, the Gulag Gang. Mm. She's fighting Caitlin Chukajin, the Chukajin. I believe that's how it's pronounced. I think I have a very clear picture of how this one's going to go. Mm. You just you look at the statistics of the two respective fighters. You see a bigger, taller competitor in uh, Chukajin. She, mm. She's 5'9", five, 5'10". Five, she has a 4-inch reach advantage. Damn, big bitch. However, you see... Shevchenko, she's taken on Nunes, she's taken on Yen Jacek, she's taken on taller fighters, and she's found success in those fights. And those are much more talented competitors than uh, Chukage and Especially with Chukage's lack of wrestling presence to add on to her pressure. Exactly. Like, uh, wait. she's not going to be able to, to show anything other than hands. It's unlikely this fight goes anywhere other than a decision, perhaps a submission on behalf of Shevchenko. She uh, she lands, as I mentioned, more takedowns for 15 minutes than Ayla Latifi. Well, the only thing that I would say is going in Shevchenko's favor and her ability to potentially get a finish is uh, the disparity in skill that become could become apparent. And when you are, uh, especially for pressure fighters, you can make them walk into things kind of like Jessica I did, like just leading them and leading them and just... At 10, minus 10.50, there's a good, she might just put this bitch to bed just because of that aspect alone, because of the mismatch aspect of it. But I do understand, because you have to remember, Valentina's got every, she's got every, uh, like, other women's champion in her, on top of those stats. So that's probably what's pushing the knockdown percentage so low. So I don't expect a finish. I would take the uh, over. If you said two and a half free takedowns, I would take the over on mm. for this fight. I think that Shevchenko is going to drag her to the mat multiple times. She's going to win a comfortable decision. You have a volume striker in Chu Kagan, who, like I said, she doesn't have the power, but also she does not have the significant strike differential that indicates she's going to be able to outpoint fight mm. a point fighter in Valentina Shevchenko. I don't see much for Choo Choo again. But, choo choo uh, again, <laughs> but uh, choo choo the train about to come to a halt. Right, power to her for making it this far, and hopefully she has a performance of her life. But she's big as hell. She's she's odd big. She doesn't have long arms, but she has. She's t much taller. Odd big. Odd big. What a great thing to say about a woman. I don't give a fuck. Yo, she bitch, you're odd big. <laughs> <laughs> Just thought you should know. You're, you're, you're tall, but you got short arms. Uh, is this will be an up tempo fight because uh, Chu Cajun knows she's going to need to steal rounds. She's going to apply pressure, and that's going to bring the best out of Shevchenko, in my opinion. She can be methodical. She can be tempered. I think she's going to trash this bitch because she's a southpaw. This bitch is orthodox, and she doesn't have the, the like tools to deal with that. Maybe. Especially at Valentina's level, she's probably going to put. Her Maybe I think it's going to be a point fight, though. I think you're going to see a comfortable decision. Uh, mm. I think there will be attractive moments of the fight because of the sublime skill of Shevchenko versus the less refined, less skillful, but volume-based attack mm. of Caitlin... Caitlin... Choo-choo! Chuk Chukagan. 